Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick way to make a pin cushion using a miniature little mug. I found this mug and it's shaped for autumn, in the shape of a pumpkin, and I just couldn't resist creating an autumn pin cushion for myself. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a pin cushion. This is just a slight variation on that method. I love having pin cushions for the different holidays and seasons and themes. So let me show you how I create it. I found this cute little mug at Hobby Lobby. It was adorable. Um, I don't even know what it's used for. It's like an espresso cup size, but I don't think it's uh, a great thing for that. But you never know. Some people might really enjoy that. But I thought it would be a perfect pin cushion for autumn. So I have my little cup here, which is a perfect little holder. I have a bunch of fluff here, polyfill. And then I wanted to make it with a solid color. You can use any type of fabric. I prefer solid colors for pin cushions. This way it's easier to see my pins. Sometimes the pins or the needles get lost in the pattern depending on what it is. And it's a very simple procedure. I've shown you a different video where I made a pin cushion, but this is really fun. And that's why I like making a lot of them. So I like to make a circle. I just trace around my piece here. And I'm going to cut wider than that circle. That circle is going to be my sewing guide. So I'm between a half an inch and an inch all the way around. I'll just cut my fabric. And then I'll just take some thread. So I have that here. Just take some thread. It's just green knotted thread. It doesn't have to be. And on the inside, I'm going to make my knot. And I'm just going to stitch very loosely a running stitch around that circle that I traced over the roll of tape. And I just use the roll of tape to get the shape. I like it to be two to three times the size that I'm going to use for the pin cushion. I like them nicely stuffed. You can vary that as well. And as you can see, I didn't really measure it with a ruler or anything. I just kind of looked for a shape that was considerably larger than the cup. And then I just play with it with a lot of give here. So I'm stitching all the way around trying to catch that fabric. Every so often, I'll pull the thread through. And I want to go all the way around and meet exactly where I started the stitching, right on that knot. And I come out on the inside, same side as the knot. You have a little, little like a bonnet or a dumpling. I'm going to flip it the other way so that the knot is now on the inside and this will be my piece that I'll stuff inside my cup. But for now, I want to stuff it with filling. I'm going to pull it just a little tighter together just by pulling that thread and it moves it around and I can move it around to make it an even cinching. And I'm going to take my fluff and just stuff inside Now I like to use a lot of fluff, and in this particular case, my little cup is pretty deep. So I'm going to take some fluff and just stuff it inside the cup as well. And then I'll take additional fluff and really stuff that little bonnet. You can always remove it if it's too much. I'll take that thread and just gently cinch it further. I don't want to break it. But now I'm making a cute little ball at the end here. And again, I cinch it. I just verify that it fits, and it fits pretty well. It's a little snug, which is what I'm going for. So I'm going to cinch it really well, and then with that needle, I'll stitch through it a few times. When I have my thread all the way through, I'll wrap it around a couple of times and stitch it again. just back and forth, trying to really anchor that thread, make it nice and secure. Stitch a little knot here. Then when I think it's secure, I'll wrap it around a couple more times just to secure it and do one more knot. And 
and I can snip it and I'm done with my needle. So now I like to just play with it just to make sure it's the right shape. And then I make sure it fits and it will fit. I have some hot glue heating up here on the glue gun and I like to press that fluff all the way down. And then very quickly, I'll just put a little glue on the inside here. Oh, I got a little on the outside, that's okay. And then I'll take my little orange ball here and really stuff it in that pin cushion. The glue dries very quickly and very hard. And I can see that it's a little soft. It's a little further down than I wanted. So again, I'll just pull it out, remove it from any of the glue that's stuck, and I'm gonna add a little more fluff to that jar. Much better. So I'll take just a little bit more. Press it down so it's mostly full. And I can take that glue gun and just press it around on the side. And then quickly stick my little pincushion topper right in there. So I'll give that a moment to dry for the glue and then I can peel it off very easily once that glue has cooled down and dried. And now I have a cute little pin cushion that I can use for my fall stitching. Adorable. So that's it. That's how I make my pin cushion. And I just think it's adorable. I love having the orange color. I don't have a lot of pin cushions with the orange in them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And if you'd like behind the scenes content, be sure to become a paid member of my channel. Just click on the join button. Thanks for joining me today.